Hear me, where are you? Are you OK? Why are you not phoning me back? You're going to have to let me know what you told them yesterday. Yeah. I'm going to be in the cafe, so come and find us. Morning. Is Tracy up yet? Still in bed. I've told her to stay put. Yeah, she's exhausted. Look, I can't thank you enough for going with her and supporting her yesterday. Get away. Anyone would have done the same? No. Not a lot of people would offer to go and do something like that. I'm just sorry that you never got the chance to see him. Yeah, I know she's good, but trust me, it's a good thing. It's way better she remembers him as he was. I wish I'd never had to see him like that. You're so strong. I don't know how you do it. Well, I'm grateful for mates like you and Amy. I had a lovely chat with her yesterday, actually. What, you and Amy? Well, I like what was she saying. Well, she said some things about my dad that were surprising. It just made me see stuff differently, yeah. What, like what? Um, I... Yeah, I'm outside now. I'm coming up. OK. Um, sorry, Kerry, I've got to go. Oh. So when I spoke to Natalie yesterday, she said that she was considering another couple. Yeah, but the fact she's agreed to come round and see you must be a good sign. Yeah, but she's still going to want to know why I've not been in touch recently. You know, back in the day, I said, screw it, let's not tell her, cos once she's pregnant, that's it, done deal. But as you know, I'm a lot more sensible these days, so Nat needs to know the truth. Or you could just wait and see if she picks you first. It's not fair, though, is it? It's got a factor into her decision, so... It's just a risk we're going to have to take. Well, she came round when we told her about your past. And the fact that we're such a tight-knit family swung it for us that time, it will again. Yeah, but you were just defending Vic. And Lee attacks you first, so you're completely innocent. Exactly. That's why the police haven't come back to me. You don't know that they won't, though. Surely it'd be less stressful just to put the surrogacy on hold until the police investigation's over. What, on risk losing a surrogate? No way. Maybe we are being a bit naive. There's nothing wrong with a little optimism. Even if the worst happened, I wouldn't get long. I'd be out before the baby was born. It was self-defence. So when Lee comes round and wakes up, it'll be his word against ours. And we'll talk that round, just like we did before. Oh. oh sorry. Maybe you shouldn't have the third coffee. You're jittery enough. Can we get it, bro? I'm not stopping. I've been worried sick all night. Yeah, about yourself as usual. No, Amy. All I'm thinking about is you and Kyle. Oh, please. You just want to save your own skin and you don't care who you hurt to do it. I was desperate. I saw an opportunity to protect all of work and I went for it. Nah. All you care about is number one. That's why you're desperate to find out if I dropped you in it with the police. I stuck to your story, by the way. Good. Thank you. What were you saying to Vanessa? She said that you were talking to her about Frank. You have ruined any last good memories they have of their dad. They think he was still a con man in the end. So excuse me if I try and make them feel a bit better about him. I still can't believe all that hard work was for nothing. All that money we raised for the hospital gone in a puff of smoke. I only hope Jay's insurance will cover it, but I haven't heard anything yet. Even if it doesn't, the hospital ward would still be all right. There's always plenty of people wanting to raise the PR profiles by fundraising for it. Brace yourself. She's finalised the birthday list. Well, I'm still not sure about the drum, but I definitely want the puppy. OK, and are the batteries included? It's a real live Irish wolfhound. And there'll be loads going in the dog homes cos they eat tons of food and do enormous poos. Yes, you're still not selling it to me. This is not over. <laughs> Oi, I'm in demand with the ladies, you know. Hey, we don't want to hear about your Tinder tales, thank you. Ah, oh, professionally. But seriously, remember that girl that I trained a while back as a favour? Huh. Yeah, she only wants me to go and train her and her mates again. Nice one. Ooh. These girls pretty fit. No. No, well, I mean, physically, you know, cos they're out of condition. It needs lots more work, doesn't it? No, it's for a triathlon and there's six girls, so fit or not, it's going to be a big payday. Hey, that sounds like great news. But, um, I thought you'd given up on the whole personal training thing. Yeah, well, so had I until she called. They've quit the gym memberships cos they weren't happy there and they want me to start as soon as. Why weren't they happy? 
Too expensive? No, it's because of the bloke, Reggie Mullen, he's the bloke who owns it, and he's kind of a mate of mine, but it can be a little bit scary sometimes. Oh, sounds like the kind of mate you can do without. Yeah. Well, I'm made up for you. Oh, thank you. Still need to get some equipment, though. Well, our offer of a loan's still on, if you, you want it. You sure? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Oh, Mum, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> How are you coping? Must have been a terrible shock for you. It was. I'm still getting my head round it. I should go and apologise for that frank-shaped truth bomb I dropped yesterday. He was my friend, but even I can't defend him now. It is what it is. <sighs> Megan, please look. I need to say sorry for... It's what... fine, Jay. Look, I'm in a bit of a hurry. I'm a single parent with one wage coming in and a business to run. Sorry. Now, money must be a worry on top of everything else. Yeah, I know, and I want to help out a bit more now. You know, increasing Eliza's maintenance payments and reducing the rent a bit. Can you afford to do that? Well, no, I can't, but... Well, I'll chase up the insurance company later, see where we're up to with the claim. Ah, hello, stranger. Just the man I wanted to see. Oh, espresso, please, Brenda. Yes, Guess this won't take long. <laughs> Don't you just love mobile phone banking? You can see in an instant if someone's made their first instalment on their loan. You'll get it. Temporary cash flow problem. No rush. I'll just sit back and watch all that daily interest accruing. Yeah, well, I'll be getting my insurance payout any day now, so don't go ordering your super yacht just yet. <laughs> I do love your optimism. You fake it so well. You tell her about Deb's asking you lot to move in. It'll take her mind off things. Well, I hope she'll be okay with taking on another kid. I mean, one teenager in the house is one too many, isn't it? True, but our Sarah's no smelly boy. I must say, Faith, you've taken the news pretty well, aren't you? Well, why wouldn't I? I mean, I am really going to miss Deb's, but I just want her to be happy. And Sarah's my grandchild. I'd do anything for her. Not really, if I'm honest. I can't believe Debs is breaking my heart by running off to Scotland. At least you'll still get to see them. Oh, no, babe, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it to come out like that. Oh, I'm sorry. It's just all getting to me. Well, look, the last thing I want to do is add to it. In fact, I wanted to give you some good news. Debs has asked us to move into her place. What about Faith? Won't she be looking after the house? No. She'll be moving out. We're going to be taking over paying the rent. Oh, wow. This is just what I need. I've been struggling with all the noise and people bobbing in and out. Charity, this'll be perfect. Our own space. Just me, you, and the boys. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> Don't worry, I've locked my mum in the pub cellar today, so your car keys will be safe. It's great to see you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, when I didn't hear from you, I, th I thought you might have changed your minds, and, well, like I said to Aaron, I have been considering other couples. Yeah, I'm sorry about the radio silence. We've had a, a few things going on. Yeah, um... And in the spirit of complete honesty, there's something you should know. Rob got in a scrap recently. And it was self-defence, but the other guy, Lee, um, he's in hospital. Is he going to be OK? Hopefully. Um, he's in a coma. Oh, my God, what did you do to him? It's nothing that bad. A coma sounds pretty bad to me. Right, I'm just going to come out and say it because you need to know why you hit him. Lee... Lee raped me and he was goading us about it. And then he went for Robert and Robert was just defending himself and me. Believe me, my brother's not a violent person. Hey, listen, make that a double on the house. Ooh, what we're celebrating. I take it Vanessa is happy about the new living arrangements. Oh, you should have seen her face. It lit up. 
So anyway, I know we can discuss it all later, but I just wanted to say I'm so happy you're on board. Well, I will start making a space for her tonight. Clear my clothes out of the spare wardrobe for one thing. Well, so Faith's moving out and you lot are moving in. So you're, like, you're doing a swap. Yeah. But if if Faith's not moving in here, who's she gonna move in with? <laughs> what? No, 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 no flipping way. We've got a house full. Is this? Marlon, you're so easy to wind up. I don't care. She can go to Kane's for all I care as long as she's out of my hair. So, babe, I've been thinking. Quiet night in me and you, and we can discuss the big move. Anyone want to take my money, or shall I vault the bar and? Pour myself a GNT. Ooh, not sure our public liability covers hip replacements, madam. <laughs> you so remind me of me when I was disappointed with my dreary little life. But happily, I got released from my prison. We just need to know where we stand, Laurel. Like, our mate has got rent to pay and two kids to feed. Hey, but don't have a go at Laurel. She's in the same boat. I've told you everything I know, so... Hey, go through at the back. You don't have to listen to this. Go on. Right, what are you having? I'm a half, please, Charity. Oh, uh, give this young man a pint and stick that behind the bar for all the workers. Hey. Hey. Won't Jay's insurance pay out for your wages? You know, now they're making repairs. Well, Jay would have said if that was the case. So. Well, I've got something that I think may cheer you all up. I've decided to organise a little charity fundraiser at the salon tomorrow for the children's ward. For a year fun day, half price treatments. Well, the thing is, we're not earning, so it's way out my price range. Sorry, Kerry. <laughs> I'll have a coffee, please. Ladies, now, I'll be giving it my support in my role as counsellor. <laughs> you see on social media profile whilst looking even more gorgeous than I usually do. What the hell are you on? You should be keeping a low profile and not glory-seeking with your fundy. I want to try and put things right. A man has died. His daughters are in bits thinking this was all his fault. Do you honestly think a set of gels and a blow dry is going to fix what we've done? Of course I don't. But I'm trying to do right by them and the charity. And I'm going to find a way to make things up to Tracy and Vanessa as well. Oh, right. Well, why don't you bungee jump from the viaduct dressed as a factory robin arsonist? I'm sure that'll make them feel better. God, give us a break. I'm trying here. No, you are making this about you when you should be keeping your head down. No, I'm trying to clean up your mess because actually this was all down to you in the first place. That's the only reason why you haven't heard from them. Because they all need to look after me. I am so sorry about what happened to you. Thank you. But I'd hate to think that it's ruined their chances because it means the world to them, to all of us. Robert is a decent man. That's why I wanted to warn you about this, in spite of the fact that he hasn't... I'll get it. Even if the worst did happen, I've still got all this support. I know what a solid family you are. I've not been charged with anything. We reckon they'll just drop it. Hello, Robert. A lead parsonist woken up. And his version of events don't match yours. So, Robert Sugden, I'm arresting you on suspicion of GBH. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention, when questioned, something you later rely on in court. that woman as far as I could throw her off a balcony. You'll all miss me when I'm gone. Yep, yeah, needs changing. My favourite job, not. Hey, why don't you get Marlon to do it? Well, cleaning the pipes is marginally more appealing than listening to him whine. What's all this about you hijacking my salon tomorrow and offering discount rates? You know, I was going to tell you when you got back from the suppliers, it's a fundraising day for the hospital, and it's just to help replace some of the money that you raised. Yeah, well, that's great, but what about my profits? Well, how about I get the ball rolling and buy a treatment for every factory worker? Right. Oh, come on, Ben, do it for the children. Well, I am always up for helping a good cause. <laughs> There's plenty of people around here who could do with a cut price makeover. Sorry, sorry. Is this ambush Marlon with a random insult day? 
I'm doing a fundraiser at the salon tomorrow. Probably in first thing before the rush and I'll sort you out. I do not need sorting out, thank you. I don't! Don't say anything, all right? I'm going to call your solicitor and get in there as soon as I can. He's a liar. They'll soon see through him. He's just trying to cause more trouble for Vic. Well, it's a relief he's woken up, I guess. Yeah, but he's bound to be groggy. He's going to be talking rubbish. Seb's mum had a head injury, played havoc with her brain. She'd come out with all sorts. Aaron, I need to be as honest with you as you've been with me. It looks like the police think there's more to it. Well, look, you, you don't have to decide right now. I only want what's best for any baby I bring into the world. Well, at least stay and find out what happens today. This is all going to go away. I can't. I'm sorry. <sighs> I really do hope things work out for you. Please tell Robert how sorry I am I couldn't help. Hey, charity's down in the cellar. You might have heard the cursing. How's your sister doing? I hate going round there, seeing her so broken. That makes me a really horrible person, right? No, of course it doesn't. You know your dad would want you to focus on the good stuff, like this house move. It's OK to do that, you know. Things will get easier. Oh, and it'll be so lovely to have Sarah sleeping over during the week. Sorry, what? So Sarah's staying? Yeah, so she doesn't have to move schools and leave her friends. Charity not told you, then? No, she conveniently left that bit out. Yeah, but it's not a problem, is it? No. But Charity treat him like I'm some fragile basket case who needs careful handling his... You know, whenever I'm down in the dumps, I try and tell myself things could always be worse. I'm jobless, broke, single, and now my favourite beer's out. Well, hey, you could always try counting your blessings. Yay. I bet I can turn that frown upside down. <laughs> I'm going to buy some lunch. To celebrate, I've got a bunch of new clients to train, so I'll be needing a glamorous assistant. Well, the glamorous bit in a deal breaker. And guess who's giving us an interest free loan? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we cracked him. <laughs> what about my training? Yeah, the loan will cover it, man. Hey, you still okay with this, right? Of course, yeah, yeah. It's a Fletcher and Chapman personal trainers, eh? Yeah, we're gonna need a punchier name, though. Blimey. By the look of you, I'd say the beer's back on. I'd have done it for you, that. Get your paws off me, yeah? Now's probably not the best time, but I dropped you in it with Vanessa. Sorry, I assumed she knew about Sarah. <sighs> Sorry. Got here as fast as I could. What have the police said to you? Anything? No. I'm just on my way to our disclosure chat now, but Aaron's filled me in. Who knows what rubbish Lee's been spouting? You gave them a full statement last time and nothing's changed. You have a compelling case. Try not to worry. So it's just Lee's word against mine and Vic's, right? Exactly. So just say no comment to everything and I'll get you out of here as soon as possible. Um, did I leave a little black notebook in here earlier? Because if I didn't, I am screwed up my next meeting. Um, is there a reward? Oh. Uh, my undying gratitude and loyal custom. Mm, that'll do nicely. Thank you. Megan, have you got a minute to step into my office for a chat? <laughs> I'm not avoiding you. I'm, I'm just running late again. It'll take two seconds. I just wanted you to know that whatever happens, your home is safe. Really? I thought you might need to sell up. No, it's yours and Eliza's home, and I want to do anything I can to help out. Thank you. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just get to your meeting. <laughs> oh, poor Megan. If it's not hard enough dealing with Frank's betrayal on top of her loss, she's got money worries too. Well, Jay's hoping to help out more financially, providing the insurance money comes through OK. There might be a fly in the ointment there. The insurance company's just emailed me. Have they come to a decision? Oh, not yet. But well, they want me to call them to confirm whether the fire alarm was deliberately turned off. Did they say why? No. But how many insurance claims get paid out once the owner's turned off the alarm?
once Robert's been cleared, you can try again with another surrogate, can't you? Clean slate. I know what you mean well, Mum, but please just don't. Well, he pulls through. It could be worse, right? How long do you think they'll keep him? No idea. I'm just hoping they let him out again. Of course they will. And look, worst case scenario, he serves a few months. I know this is hard, but you two have survived worse. You don't know what he's like. He's gonna make Rob look like some psycho with a grudge. Yeah, but he's innocent. He's not going anywhere. What? What is it? Well, as you can imagine, Lee's insisting that you and your sister are lying because you've had this ongoing vendetta against him. Oh, he's a piece of work. Lee's also saying that you attacked him and that it was completely unprovoked. What did the police think? We might be looking at a charge. What? GBH? Section 18. That's GBH with intent. OK, whatever. So if the case went against me, what would I be looking at? Probation? Six months tops? Section 18 is a far more serious charge. It's causing grievous bodily harm with intent. And those words are key in terms of sentencing. Well, how long are we talking? How long? The maximum sentence for GBH with intent is life imprisonment. Stay with us on ITV. We're back in Emmerdale in half an hour.